Hello and welcome to this video about non-equivalence relations. We'll start off by talking about equivalence relations. If a relation between two mathematical objects is an equivalence relation, then it satisfies these three qualities – reflexivity, symmetry and transitivity. These objects can be numbers like integers and reals. We'll just look at numbers for the moment. The first relation we'll look at is the equality relation, which is obviously an equivalence relation, since it has all of these three properties for any mathematical object, including all numbers. Now to study the first of these relations that is not an equivalence relation, and that is the greater than relation. Any number is never greater than itself, so it is not reflexive. So now we know that it isn't an equivalence relation, but we want to find out what sort of non-equivalence relation it is. And it is obviously not symmetric either. In fact, it is never symmetric for any two numbers. But it is transitive. Notice why it is because the lower bound for C is pushed downwards, and it is forced to be true by the nature of this relation. It must be noted that the less than relation will give a similar result, being non-reflexive, non-symmetric and transitive, like the greater than relation. We'll now observe why this relation is transitive and non-symmetric, using the number line to illustrate this, we'll let A be a real number on this number line. The number B is forced to be on the right hand side of this number line, being greater than A. It can't be both on the left and right of A at the same time, so it can't be symmetric. A third number C, which is greater than B, is on the right hand side of B and even if it is shifted only a tiny amount, it will always be on the right-hand side of A. So this relation is transitive. Now to study the greater than or equal to relation. It contains an equality, so it is reflexive. Any number is always greater than or equal to itself. A counterexample may be found very easily, to show that it is obviously not symmetric, but it is transitive, for the same reason that the previous relation was transitive, because the lower bound for C is shifted above A. The less than or equal to operation will give a similar result to that of the greater than or equal to operation. Notice that these sorts of operations are always transitive, and not symmetric, because a lower or upper bound is always shifted so as to force it to be transitive, while being non-symmetric. Now to study the not equal to relation, and it is never reflexive by its definition, but it is obviously always symmetric, and it is not transitive because A could equal C and both be unequal to B. So look at this counterexample. It satisfies the first two conditions while failing the third. This is an example of a relation that is symmetric and not transitive. So now to look at this distance function, D1. A and B have to be closer together than 2. A always has a distance of zero from itself, and therefore this relation is reflexive. And the distance of A from B is the same as the distance of B from A, which is extremely obvious, so this relation is symmetric. But this relation isn't transitive. It's time to show a counterexample. Consider these three numbers. Even though it is true for the first two equations, it isn't true for the third, so this relation is symmetric,
but not transitive, like the not equal to relation. Let's look at this relation in the complex number plane. The set of points that is closer to A than 2 is given by this circle here around point A, which is at the centre. Another point B, which is in this circle and thus closer to A than 2, has its own set of points, being themselves closer to B than 2, being represented by another circle. So a third point called C is closer to B than 2, and therefore in B's circle, but it is not in A's circle, and not closer to A than 2. And so, therefore, this relation is not transitive. Let's try this second distance inequality. The distance between these two numbers has to be greater than 2. It is obviously not reflexive, because the distance of a number from itself is always 0, and therefore never greater than 2. It is symmetric, because if the distance between two points is always the same, and if it is greater than 2, it will stay greater than 2. But it is not transitive. A number C being further away from B than 2 doesn't guarantee it being greater than 2 away from A. So these sorts of distance functions, which includes the inequality relation, are always symmetric without being transitive. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it has helped you to learn more about equivalence relations. I wish you all the best in your studies of this sort of math and please click the subscribe button.